Hello everyone, welcome to Hardplaying Games. My name's Simon and this is Horse Racing 2016. Not that they tell you it's 2016 when you buy it. Uh, available on PS4. This came out about six to eight weeks ago, I think, uh, over in the UK. It's been out in the US a little bit longer. My god, this game is terrible. And I'm going to show you exactly why. So you have single player and you have multiplayer. Multiplayer is local for up to four people. Not tried it yet. Um, I don't see this one coming out for parties unless we're absolutely pissed as fuck. So let's dive into the actual game itself uh, that you'll be spending most of your time on. The game for single player for horse racing consists of 50 races um, plus like a little finale bit at the end. Uh, and they are split into time trial, straightforward races, normal running round circle races and some hurdles. And um, we'll dive straight into season three. Uh, you get the option to choose between a couple of horses, uh, but the other stuff is around your livery, and you've got these things like condition, speed, stamina, start competing, and what they like doing and what they don't like doing. I've not seen a blind bit of difference between the two the horses that I have, because there's only like a sli it's a slightly better version one, so we'll take what we've got. Um, let's go for a straight race to start off with. So, uh, starting is um, this little thing here where you get three opportunities or not. Kick off, and I hit the wrong button. Anyway, rock away. Uh, so, your whole uh, shtick essentially for this game is you press X and that seems to speed up your horse and then drain the meter on that goes up the vertical meter. The other meter is the whipping meter that goes around your horse as you uh, go. And then when you do that, that drains more of your um, horse's meter and you have to kind of balance the two to get to the end. Notice if anyone's a fan of Lost, what are the different jockey days? It's amazing. I wonder if Lost even know that that's what they've named all of their people as. It's crazy. Uh, so then you get your uh, results at the end, which go to all the score. The score goes to a season standing, which is a five race stint. Then you have your overall championship standings, which is what you are over the whole ten seasons of racing that you get. Because you just get 50 races and that's it. So let's dive on to the normal track race, which I think should be slightly longer. Oh, it's only a little bit. Ah, we've got that back. We're off and away. The problem is, is that there is no, like, um, connection between the speed that you tap X to go faster and whether or not that actually drains any of your meter away. So I find, because what is connected is how fast, oh, it's like a wall, how fast uh, and basically knocking your horse out is determined very much by how much that vertical limit thing you've got left. And you can see I kind of bolted a bit too early here. Um, I'm not going to do it for this race because we're going to be sent, which is good. Um, but essentially the longer the race, the quicker you run out of that meter. But if you stop pressing X, you just slow to an immediate trot. And so there's no, because there's no comparison between when you're pressing and time and gallop or anything like that, zero instructions. God knows what you're supposed to be doing. And it doesn't matter what I do and what I try, I can't get it for love nor money. So it's really frustrating, really frustrating. Occasionally you also get hurdles. But the problem with the hurdles are the, wow, that music. Uh, so I'm pressing L1 to jump here, and you can see that it's still struggling a little bit. I whipped very early on purpose. Yeah, you can see we're back up to full weapon again, so we've clearly lost all of our energy. So it just becomes a new point. I'm sure like some horses have more stamina and more pace than that one than the other. But it seems so arbitrary. Now that I'm in the 
great so I can't really do anything else. So I'm going to hit the whip. So Saeed Jarrah is doing best, probably because he's busy running around bombing and stabbing people. Uh, so now we've got another hurdles course. This one's even longer. So I'm going to purposefully do poorly here to show you what the, what the problem with this game is. So I'm going to jump. Even if the hurdles are not, you still have to jump over the hurdles and get stuck otherwise. So I'm tapping way, way slower. Still using everything up, so I might as well just go for the whip, which uses up an awful lot anyway. And as you can see, my horse is knackered, we're only halfway round. It's going to be a shat race for us. So, I'm going to trigger the laughable whipping problem. For that. So uh, let's do time trial just so that we can say that we've done that one as well. I really regret buying this game, it's terrible. So this is. Okay. So I'm just going to go straight in for the whip. Uh, and I'm going to show you some of the other angles that we've got. Including Jockey Cam, which I quite like. Well, I think I've written for little Mr. Horsey, Smithy's Dom as I've called it. Too much. Even though you swap horses, you still call your horse the same name all the way through. Right, and I've run out of Mojo now, so hopefully I'll still get across the line and be number one. Yay! Me. Well, I flip my stick. Yeah. Flip my stick. Of course, it's scary as well. There we go. We won a season. We're currently sitting third overall in the standings. And so the thing continues. Now that we're in season four, we get a different horse that we can now. Get, which I'm assuming oh it has slightly different stats so less stamina good at a start okay with speed so that would be good maybe for the shorter races you would think but I don't think it's really that clear or clever as to what it's supposed to do and because when you go and choose into any of these events you don't know how long they are how short they are whatever because they're all different lengths it's just lacking the core elements to make a game playable that you know what you're doing I can I can get over crap graphics I can get over stuttery frame rates I can't get over the lack of options the lack of consistent playableness of this game and um, and that there is no correlation between what you actually do to press down on the horse and get it to do anything and actually the result that you get at the end um, if anyone wants a horse racing game on the PS4, Winning Post 2007 is released in Japan. Import that, pay the extra money, you will not be sorry because this offering is disgustingly poor. I do not recommend this game, do not buy it. Um, and that probably rounds off this review. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, I hope that was informative. Don't make the mistake that I do and see that it was 60% off and went, do you know what? It looks not great, but I'll give it a benefit of the doubt. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ever. Okay. Now I've warned you. Go and play a good game. Bye.